We've got lots happening in the massive bodies of water that are surrounding the deep south, like an area of low pressure that does not have a very high probability of becoming anything strong, but it is certainly looking at a lot of thunderstorms and they're in a counterclockwise fashion heading more towards areas of coastal Texas. We also have the latest information on what's happening with tropical storm Umberto. It is moving away from the Bahamian Islands. There have been some tropical rain bands right around Daytona Beach and areas of A1A along the southwestern sections or southeastern rather sections of Florida. Our WBTM 13 live Doppler radar is not showing any rain. We have been seeing very small isolated showers and literally a neighborhood or two, but somehow that word gets around. We always have our app which has interactive radar in case you need that radar in the palm of your hand. Now, unfortunately, not everybody going to see the rain chances today. In fact, we're kind of seeing a couple of uh, fighting air masses, humidity coming up from the south and a very weak front that is draped right through northern Alabama. So believe it or not, it's pretty comfortable right now. I think through at least 9 or 10 a.m. temperatures will be bearable. Low 80s, 94 degrees by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And the humidity level, of course, is that, that's what makes all of us feel really uncomfortable. And if you can find some shade, that's where you want to park it. Tropical storm Umberto, 60 mile per hour winds potentially strengthening to a category one or category two by midweek next week. Lots of action, of course, always coming off of the African peninsula or African coast because we are talking about the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. But right now, no imminent threats for the deep south. So we can breathe easy, uh, breathe easy and look at these beautiful sunrise shots right now from the Talladega Super Speedway near Mount Chiha this morning where we're just looking at fair weather clouds. That's pretty much it. The satellite and radar composite confirms that most of the humidity that we see right now is surrounding that area of low pressure along the Gulf Coast, but it's not going to be impacting us here in your seven day forecast. As we look ahead, 94 is your high temperature still most Mostly dry on Monday. Ridge is going to dive south and it won't be as humid, but it will stay at least 10 degrees above our seasonal averages. Another quick moving system by the end of the week. And the only thing you'll notice will be cooler temperatures, less hot, some 60s as we head towards the beginning of next week. And that feels a little more like fall.